So the listing agent just texted me and there's repair work being done on the back patio today. Um, and they're coming back tomorrow to finish. So right when you walk in, you have your stairs in the hallway to the left. This I think is actually supposed to be a formal dining, um, but they have it set up as an office. These are laminate floors, pretty sure. Um, and then you have ceramic. So you can go around here into the living, dining, kitchen area. Or you can go through here. So this way oh, is the laundry room. storage closet kitchen so here is pantry Long Island dining area and then open to the living room with this room they have the built-ins over here and the fireplace over here which is a gas fireplace i saw the liquid propane tank outside most of the houses in here have liquid protein i'm not sure where you would put your entertainment center but the built-ins are really nice so, over here off the dining area, there is storage. Over here, more storage. And back around here is a half bath. It's always nice to have a half bath downstairs so your guests don't have to go upstairs. And then off the dining room area is the sunroom with the French doors. Also with ceramic tile and a ceiling fan and the built-in blinds. Maybe you could put the entertainment center in here and the wine rack. So this door off the living room is gonna be garage. Two car garage with two bays. This is nice. I didn't even get this floor. This is ceramic tile that looks like wood. Usually holds up a lot better than the laminate. You know, I don't, this might be real wood and not laminate actually. I'll have to look in the listing and see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So going upstairs. Finisher's a little shaky, not bad at all. We'll go to the master first. Here's the thermostat. It's a Honeywell. So, oh, this is not the master. This is just a big bedroom, my goodness. Let's get the view downstairs. You can see the backyard. I don't know how good you can see that. I don't want to mess up their blinds. Oh, it is the master. Ha ha. 
stand up shower, dual vanities, ceramic tile floors, jetted garden tub, shelving, his closet. Oh no, that's going to be his and her, and this door behind me is going to be the toilet. Yeah. You could do something really cute there with baskets and the rolled up towels and the rolled up washcloths. Of course, you could always keep that stuff down there too. Here's the bonus room. Well, if they consider this a bonus room, probably because it's got the angled walls. But up here they have sofa, sofa, table, TV. So if you put a pool table in here, I think actually if you put it right in the middle of the room, you could get away with full size sticks. It's a pretty good amount of space. Attic access. Let's see. Oh yeah, they've got storage under here. The carpet actually is in pretty decent shape, but you can tell that it's a little older because around the edges it'll be dark. Let's see that. Um, and it's not as noticeable in person as it is on this camera. So let's go down the hall the other way. Here's the common bath. It's got ceramic tile. Bedroom number two, which that's probably a fuller queen, but it's a really big um, bed frame. And it's got the double closets. This is a big bedroom too. Double closet. So as I'm walking through, you might notice the camera um, go off of what I'm actually trying to video because as I'm walking through, I'm just trying, because the Shingles are starting to curl a little bit. I just like to make sure there's no water spots on the ceilings. Okay, let's go check out the back patio. She, what she's talking about with the six foot table would fit maybe wine rack I don't know about I don't know I'll send you the dimensions let's go see what kind of repairs they're doing on the patio Notice that big hutch right there when I first walked in. Oh, I see. They're replacing some rotten boards. Little ripped screen. No biggie. There's the liquid propane tank. Let's see if we can't access the crawl space. Let's see. 
It's not under here, but I don't see any cracks in that brick. Looks pretty good under there. Let's go see. They must have replaced some brick there with cinder block. Got gutters. Okay, so I guess I would expect to crawl with it being this high back here. Oh, but there's no vents. So there you go. No rotten floor choice. That's really nice back here. You have room for a little building. You could put you some, um, like a little patio set with the chairs and the table and the umbrella. Okay, I think that's about it for the house. Well, I'll go walk off the dining room for you. I don't know if it matters since you have this extra space. Seems like a really well-maintained house. I love those built-ins. Let's see. I didn't bring in my measuring tape, but I'm reasonably good walking off with my feet. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, give or take. And that'll be about one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, about 10 by 12, plus or minus. It looks bigger than that. Maybe I ought to go get my measuring tape. Um, okay, I'm going to measure it off for you guys, and then I'm going to go take you by the community. But you could put one, two, three, four, probably five bar stools under there. I like this granite too. Window over the sink so you can look out while you do dishes. Corner door. Wow, they're organized. Oh, another corner door. Oh, a hose for the dishwasher. You could tack that up to the top of it. Overall, seems like a really well-maintained house. The question is oh, if the space is going to work for you. But let me hop on off here and get to the community. Oh, I really like that room. The community pool, the clubhouse, and the beach, and we'll go from there.